She is the Queen's representative in Bristol and the first black woman in the country to hold the position of Lord Lieutenant. I am thrilled, I am honoured, I am extremely privileged to have the role of Lord Lieutenant. I mean, that is something that most of us could only dream about, isn't it? Um, especially given that I'm a fairly ordinary girl. Given an OBE in 2009, her career has been defined by her contribution to society. Yeah. Peaches Golding may be part of the establishment now, but born in America, her family history in South Carolina is anything but. Eight years before Rosa Parks challenged racial segregation laws by refusing to sit at the back of the bus, Peaches' father, D-Day veteran Charles Hauser, was standing up for his rights and ignoring calls to go to the back of a Greyhound bus. Father sued the bus company and he won. He was awarded 2,000 pounds. This is in 1947. So I said, Dad, what did you do with that 2,000 pounds? He said, well, I gave some to the church and I bought a car because I wasn't going to ride a bus again. The slave trade made many in Bristol rich. Their new Lord Lieutenant's great-great-grandmother was herself a slave. But Peaches Golding is wary of seeing history in binary terms. Some of my forebears five generations back decided, yes, we'll move to a state where slavery is allowed. And their brother said, no, we wouldn't ever do that. And that is the story of America, where you have a civil war with one brother fighting another brother over a point of principle. And it's rarely, and I choose my words quite carefully here, it's rarely black or white, isn't That's it? That's precisely it. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Bristol.